Hello everyone, my name is Catalyst, and welcome to the finale of the How to Not Suck series, the grammatically incorrect series that teaches you how to play Battlefield. As you may know, we are going through every single specialist in the game, going through each one, learning how to most optimally play them, and learning their quirks and tricks before suggesting loadouts for them. The previous episode was on Angel, so if you have not seen that video or interested in watching it, you can click the card in the top right hand corner of your screen if you are on desktop, or you can click the thumbnail at the end screen of this video. The last episode today is going to be covering Falk, your token medic specialist that can really make or break your team. Falk is a specialist that used to be super weak all the way back in the beta, but now I think has found a comfortable spot in the meta. She still suffers from some of the negative aspects of 2042's game design, like a few other specialists, as you will talk about today, but overall, I think in the right hand, she can be very useful. In today's video, we will go over her Soret pistol, when the best time to use it is, and how to best utilize her on the battlefield. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to work. Similar to Angel's episode earlier this week, this should be a relatively straightforward episode today. Falk is definitely a little more nuanced of a support specialist than Angel is, but I think a lot of the methods used for Angel's are still the same and apply to Falk as well. A short little recap, if you missed the episode on Angel, I described him as being a very easy but spammable specialist because of how frequently and often you can use his armor and ammo pouches. And I see Falk in a similar manner, but it's a little bit different because it's harder to read if her ability is actually working or not, and that requires you to spam the Soret Pistol a little bit more and makes her a little bit more difficult to play. On top of that, her self-sustain takes a little longer than Angel's does to pull off, and that leaves her being more vulnerable more frequently. As you can see, I'll be making a lot of comparisons to Angel today as she is the other quote-unquote support specialist, but all in all, I think there are a lot of qualities about Falk's kit that make her an enticing specialist to use, and she has a comfortable spot in the meta. So first, let's talk about her Soret Pistol. Falk's ability is her S21 Soret Pistol, which fires stim darts that provide healing, or if you fire them at enemies, they do a small amount of damage as well, 20 HP of damage per shot to be exact. As for how fast the Soret actually takes to heal you, it's very comparable to the MedPen gadget. The Soret will activate the healing process faster, but regenerate health at a slower pace. Similar to how Angel's pouches work, the Soret Pistol also has a homing mechanic to it where friendlies that need healing are targeted in white, and if you shoot the Soret in the general direction of that player, the Soret will lock onto the player that needs healing and heal them, which can be tricky when you are in a high traffic area and one player needs attention more than the other, but all in all, it's a useful quirk of her kit. Falk also has the ability to heal herself, but it comes with the cost of a lengthy heal animation. Instead of going through the animation, it's actually faster for you to just shoot a Soret at your feet and then walk over it. I know it seems tedious, but once you get into a flow with it and it becomes second nature to you, it will overall be faster. If you do want to use the animation in order to make sure that you do get the heal off, there are no restrictions to the animation. You could do it while you're running, jumping, proning, etc. The pistol comes with six shots in the chamber and you can't have any more than six shots in reserve, so you can only have a maximum of 12 Sorets at a given time. However, something I found interesting, you don't actually start regenerating ammo for your pistol until six Sorets have been fired. I thought that once you reloaded that you would start regenerating the amount that you lost and converting that into reserve ammo, but that's not the case. The cooldown timer while you regenerate ammo is 10 seconds, same as Angel's pouches, but this is definitely something to keep in mind when you are playing Falk. You won't actually start regenerating that ammo until you have fired six Sorets and there are less than six rounds in reserve. And this is where I say that Falk shares the spam specialist quality with Angel, a, a little bit anyways, because if you don't start regenerating ammo until you have fired six shots, what is keeping you from firing all six shots? Reloading with rounds still in the chamber will just needlessly clog up your reload and the amount of stims you have at your disposal. So your next question probably is after that, do the Sorets despawn after a certain number have been fired? And the answer to that is yes. As you can see in the footage, you can only have six deployed Sorets at a time. For every new one that you fire after six, one is despawned. So you can't just mindlessly spam the Soret pistol, but I still think that it's better to mag dump instead of reloading and potentially having less stims than you need or waiting for it to come back on cooldown. Also something that I saw that is a common misconception, the Sorets don't actually stick to walls. When you fire a Soret at the wall, the wall stops it, and the Soret kind of flops down to the floor. So if you are trying to stick these on walls, assuming that they will heal friendlies when they run past it on the wall, they don't exactly work like that. 
Falk's passive trait is called Combat Surgeon, and this simply allows her to revive faster and revive teammates to full health upon revive. Easy enough. So with that being said, what is the best way to play Falk? Well, as I've kind of outlined when talking about her Serret Pistol, she has a lot of spam qualities to her, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. I think one of the best ways to play Falk is to kind of stick back behind the front lines and spam Serrets on teammates, but that also invites one of the things that I think really holds Falk back when it comes to being a top tier specialist, and it's something that we have talked about a lot throughout the course of this series. And that is that 2042 can be so oppressive and chaotic with 128 players that her not having her primary weapon out as frequently as she does gets her in a lot of trouble. And because she is engaged in helping teammates so frequently, there is a high chance that vehicles and players are going to spawn and swarm you and you essentially have no chance to defend yourself because you are preoccupied helping your teammates, especially in those 128 player modes, which to be honest is pretty much the only thing that people seem to play nowadays feels like. And that's not really a fault of her own, more than it is a product of how the game is designed, but in the same breath, that is somewhat how you are encouraged to play Falk, as a specialist who, if in the right spot, can really make or break a push with your teammates based on how much healing she can put out. So I think the best way to play Falk is to be spammy with her pistol, but not needlessly spammy. Make sure that you take a break to gauge your surroundings first before you pull out the pistol and focus on healing teammates. And more importantly, try and preemptively think about where you should be putting these threats. Oftentimes you'll see me dump a few threats on head glitches around the map that either a teammate or myself will end up using. Falk does not have to be a reactionary specialist. I cannot stress that enough. She can be proactive too. So I would get in the rhythm of going, okay, let's mag dump one threat mag, heal three teammates, shoot a couple of threats on head glitches, shoot one threat for myself at my feet to heal myself if I take damage, and if I want to, deplete the rest of the mag. Then focus on DPS or revives and wait for your Surrette to regenerate ammo, and then repeat that step. Again, I don't think it's a good idea for you to just stay on the back line and spam because that opens yourself up to getting overwhelmed without your weapon out, and keep in mind that her threats do despawn if more than six are in play on the battlefield, so it's best to do healing in rounds and then focus on DPS, almost like you're fighting a raid boss from Destiny or something. As for what I would suggest for her loadout, I would suggest running the AC-42 with a red dot sight or ACOG sight with extended mag or close combat rounds. I think you want to be really lethal at medium range, which is what the AC-42 is, especially if you hit headshots, and I think the AC-42 best plays into the range that you want to be engaging as Falk. In combination with that, I would also say that Falk is one of the few specialists that I would recommend running ammo on if you really want to lean into her spam factor, but otherwise, I would suggest running running the recoil as one of the many things that makes Falk strong is that she does have a full heal and self-sustain as part of her kit so she doesn't need to run a med pen or a med crate and that allows her to use other gadgets which the recoil is always a good choice due to how many vehicles there are on the map. I would also say that she is a good candidate for the insert beacon just based on the range that I suggest you playing her as and of course run smoke grenades for easy revives. As always, I suggest other compatible specialists to run along with this specialist if you are in a squad with friends. For Falk, I would suggest running McKay, Sundance, and Boris. Obviously, with McKay and Sundance, they both get themselves into some pretty weird spots and tight angles, and the Sarite Pistol is the best way to heal them. And as for Boris, he is naturally a more passive character that works well in tandem with Falk. With his turret up, Falk has some added protection while she is busy healing teammates. As for where I would rank Falk to finalize our rankings of specialists today, I would rank her as the 6th best specialist in Conquest and the 3rd best specialist in Breakthrough. For a lot of the same reasons that Angel is ranked far lower in Conquest than in Breakthrough, she has far less of an impact when there are less people around and good medics are very important in Breakthrough, whereas in Conquest there are better specialists that can A. cover more ground and B. do more on a larger scale in that game mode. That's the end of the video, and that's the end of the series, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed your time here. I want to thank you all for watching this series, and if by chance this is your first video of the series that you are finding, there is a link to the playlist with all the episodes featuring all the specialists in the description below, and you can also find it on the channel page. These videos were fun to make, and you guys really seem to enjoy them. I just wish I made these videos a little bit faster in hindsight, because it's very obvious how much interest has dropped off in 2042 content since the announcement to delay season. 
season one and I think that can really be reflected in the timeline of when these videos came out when you look at the analytics but regardless of that it's it's really sad in the end but I hope that these videos help the people they need to when they come across them I have a big video coming on Monday so make sure that you are looking out for it if you enjoyed this video drop a like and leave a comment if you made it to the end of the video it helps me tremendously in the algorithm if you enjoyed it just that much you should consider subscribing once again thank you all for watching my name is Catalyst and I will see you all another time.